Uh, and really, now I might touch her. She looks a little better. Not number Madonna. Yeah, I'd do her. I didn't, I didn't see the movie yet, you know. You know, but but I'm going to see that. I'm not seeing it. Why you not? know why? Because she's not so outrageous. Everything she does, she tries to be outrageous. She takes it from you, right? Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. What? Just because she stands there and makes two guys kiss? Who cares? What, because she pees in the shower? I'm supposed yeah, to get excited? When she does that crotch grabbing. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, come on. There's nothing like that. I guarantee you, if we all went together to the movie to see Madonna, we'd sit there and goof on it the whole time. Hey, we'd have a good time. You know what you could do. Yeah, oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> Not that bad a shape. Goodbye. Anyway, uh, Jose you think got she's outrageous, Robin? Over yes. the theater over what? There. Cause she sits there and talks. I didn't to... say anybody was outrageous. You saw I don't the movie. Think anything is outrageous. What did she talk to Sandra I... Bernard about? About uh, what? About what? What did she talk to? Sandra's th outrageous. What did she say? Sandra talked about yeah, Sandra's this girl. Pretty outrageous. What did she say? She's doing. Yeah. And she figures the girl is. No, uh... I wouldn't pay admission to see that. <laughs> yeah, I can pass see, on to that. To me, that's entertainment. You yeah. know what I mean? Girl is uh, probably cheating on her or something. I forget. So tell everyone what happened with Jose Canseco. So anyway, well, the other night at little. the game, yeah. Jose was g upset. Because this guy was yelling this stuff from the stands. Right. And uh, his manager had to go into the uh, dugout and restrain him from going after the guy. You want to talk to the guy who yelled this stuff out at Conseco? We got him? We got him on the phone. He's a fan of ours. Guys, you'll be interested to know that this is... Hello? Yeah. What's your name? Kenny. You're on the air, Kenny. You're the man? You're the guy who started yelling at Jose Conseco? Uh, I wasn't yelling at him. What is it? You don't have a job? Why are you busy at the ballpark? <laughs> well, I went to enjoy the balls, uh, like the boys this summer. You know, what down there? Like, what is your job? What do you do for a living? I'm a telemarketer. Telemarketer? So yes. you market what? Television? Uh, no, no else. couches. Uh, various stuff. All right. So you so you have free time to go to the ball game? Well, seven thirty night. You know, you get up work five o'clock. And you're not tired from a day of of telemarketing? You oh. don't have to get ready for the next day. So what did you say to Conseco? I didn't say nothing to him. The thing was, uh, what happened was all the fans were heckling him, right? Yeah. And what got me ticked was, uh, like they considered me a heckler. Hey. Okay, and that was wrong. So he, he came over to me, pointed at me, and says, "You, you make any more racial slurs like this, and I'm gonna be." No, he says, "You make any more racial slurs like this, and I'm gonna, uh, oh, uh, 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 bang you in the head or something like that." He says, "Right." So you know, they like to. Well, you know, banging in the head could mean a whole different thing. <laughs> what racial slur were you making? Huh? What racial slur? He wasn't saying making? anything. I, now, well, let, let him answer the question. Not one word I was saying to Jose can say. Everybody was busting about the gun. Uh, uh, you know, I go back to Cuba. Uh, Madonna, where's Esther? Where's this? Where's that? And all of a sudden, like, he looks at me because I'm in his, uh, like, his line of eyesight, you know? And I was the biggest guy I go over there, I guess. And it, what, what, do you work out? Huh? You work out? The Patagon? Uh, me, I don't work out. <laughs> oh, you don't work out. No. You're, just, you're just naturally you're like You're naturally big. big? Like dice? I got a big belly. Oh, well, then you're not like dice. Sure, let's get to the point. I mean, I think you're dragging out yeah, a non-story here. What's the deal? Is there so did he punch you or something? A little late time. No, no, no. Right. You were ejected. You were the guy they threw out? Right. I could, right. I could put I could string on my face. I know? hear you. I just simply said to him, I said, it wasn't me that said this, you know? Then that's where, like, the fans get on, like, you know, I, you know, like his case to get on. I hear you. So. All right, oh, so nothing happened. Story. He's going on Nine Broadcast Plaza with that story. Oh, man. <laughs> that's some story. Let me tell you. So what are you doing? I heard you retained a lawyer or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, how could you have a lawyer? You got in touch. You got a lawyer for? Threaten me. Oh, oh, get out of here. Go. Let it go. Okay, we'll you, do. You make a nice living, don't you? No, I don't. No. Oh, so you looking for some buck? No, no, no. But what'd you get a lawyer? Why for? do you have a lawyer if the guy didn't punch you? Because he said I'm going to kick your. Ass. You really think he's going to come after you? No, no, I don't think he would. No, so what do you have a lawyer for? You just like spending money on lawyers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm me. I'm good with my mouth. Oh, boy, three against one here. I'm in trouble. No, I don't understand. Why did you hire a lawyer if the guy didn't do anything to you? No, no, no. I... People hire lawyers now for anything. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you? But, wait. But, but what? But what why am I going to hire a lawyer for? To take my garbage out? <laughs> no. What kind of lawyer did you, you have get? No case. Okay, listen, guys, I gotta run. I gotta run. What kind uh, of case do you I have? Can't talk about the case. Huh? What's the matter? You can't talk about the case? No, no, no. Is that the problem? Yes. Do you have a, what kind of, what are you filing charges about? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. You know, <laughs> I, you know, it's no comment on that, Howard. They're you, pouring over the legal book You now. lost the case just saying what you just said. <laughs> what do you even talk to, Howard? He'll destroy any chance you got. My <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> are these little people, did he make, did, I don't understand how are you have a case. People? No, wait a second. I don't understand how you have a case. 
I don't understand the case you have. You, you've got a lawyer to do what? This never happened. This, this never happened to me uh, before, so I don't know. Now, I want to understand what how happened? people in our society... I know people who sue... Were you uh, really adversely affected by having to leave the ballgame? Are you suing for the price of the ticket? Uh, what are your damages? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. I'll be right there. Oh, well, you got somebody over there. What do you got, your lawyer there? No, no, no. I got a car out there waiting for me. What do you got, the paddock? All right, guys, got to run. Got to run. Okay, right, nice talking to you. Andrew, God bless you. All right, All right. Well, can we see oh, who else? He's, he's, uh, I gotta take a got break. A lawyer. Hit another button. Come on. All right, Robin, there's an exclusive. Let's take he's one random call. Well, we'll take a call in a few minutes. Let me just All get right. done with the news and, um. Uh, get Gary in here to empty my ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, empty Dice's You're ashtray. You're taking care of the Dice man. Gary, why is Dice's yeah. ashtray full? Why do I gotta be put through this? <laughs> you know I smoke. They give me a little baby ashtray. <laughs> You know, Johnny, nine Johnny's cigarettes. got laryngitis. You're going to be in Carson very soon if you keep smoking like that. I hear you. What's the matter? <laughs> no, but look what I'm smoking. Carlton. I, I can't hear you. Uh, Jane Wheatland. Carlton. Jane Ultra Wheatland. low. Yeah. 100s. Jane Wheatland here? Smoke, it's not good, but if you have to, smoke Carlton. Dice, please. Oh, <laughs> we got a lot yeah, of things to do. Cigarettes ready. on our It looks like she's ready to show you yesterday's outfit. Oh, really? Oh, she's wearing a denim jacket that's mostly open. Okay, so all right, all right. Get, get through the commercials quick. <laughs> all right, what is this? Dial 1-800-321-THIN if you uh, want to be thin. Please. <laughs> There's only one please, way Please, please, no, please. Oh, Dice, Dice, let me get through this. you don't know. Please, Dice, you Name don't know anything about losing weight. All right, let, me, let me do it. Dice is eating one can of tuna fish a day running for 300 miles. <laughs> the guy was ready to have him pass out. Don't I know. listen to him. Don't listen to he Dice. He misses all of his no, favorite Nutra foods. No, Nutrisystem's pretty good. You know why it's good? Especially the chocolate pudding. It is good. And the waffles and the pancakes the and the pot the roast. Best. And, and the, um, you know it's good. Robin, you were on it. What was That's your favorite right. thing to eat? Pizza. Hey, and now they have the No More Excuses offer. Listen to this. Try Nutrisystem for one week. If you're not completely satisfied, you get your money back. Oh, really? I got to call them. Offer applies to Nutrisystem program services only. Food not included and is non-refundable. Available at participating metropolitan New York area centers only. Do you understand this? Yeah, Try Nutrisystem. Today, send us our money back. All right. <laughs> Try Nutrisystem. You know you'd lose you weight get on it. You your money back if you don't lose weight. For what? additional details, call participating centers at 1-800-321-THIN. But you must dial now. You must call now, and you must lose weight and, now. And you really got to stick. See, what I was doing... Don't uh, you want to be thin for the summer? I, I would use, like, their stuff, and then at night I'd have, like, uh, you know, I'd go to an Italian joint over there. <laughs> but you can have Italian food on Nutrisystem. Not, dial. not like the kind you could get in the joint I go to. Yes, you can. Tell him, Robin. He's right. It's not like yeah, a restaurant. You know, I didn't lose yes, it is. What the hell is going no, wrong? Stick to Everybody get out of here. I'm doing the show myself. Stick to their plan. Oh, boy. You can't go to an Italian joint and have three loaves of bread. Yes, you can. <laughs> On Nutrisystem, you could have three loaves of bread. Yes. Oh, stop. one 800 talking about over there? 1-800-321-THIN. They don't have moose. 10,000. All right, where are we? What is this? CNI. CNI? Let me explain this real quick. You aware of what a beeper is? Yes, Howie. All right. I thought you'd gone totally Hollywood at this point. No, Trini, Trini got uh, the best beeper they make. No, what I bet you not. Uh, matrix system? No, 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 no. Let me tell you about this. What is this one? This is a text display pager. Do you understand what that is? Is that where it comes out where yeah. you could read? Right. That's what she's got. That's the best one. It's excellent. Let me read the commercial. Let me tell you about because it. Because I got it. He's ready I... to endorse. Yeah, I'm ready to endorse. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Do a good job. All right. Don't, don't, and don't drag it out. Do a good job. Because we got uh, someone ready to take the close one. All right. <laughs> the next generation of pages. T-N-I-S. Beepers. Now, give me it. They're ready to Saves. Up. Come on, guys. Give me Time. <laughs> He's a genius. <laughs> you know, our problem is we know how to read. All right, listen. The next generation of pages is TNI's I've... beeper. I've... <laughs> Dick. Tell him why it's good, because if you if she beeps you, right? You got one of these? Yeah. Why is it good? Yeah, because you get... You get what the kind of messages the you get? The whole message comes across. I know that. So if the whole message comes... And you can store it in there. What so kind of it... messages do you get on this thing? Guys, guys, stay yeah. with us. No, I am. Stop with the card. Well, well, well. Let's say you got to be somewhere, yeah. like at Pasquale and Wong okay. this Friday night <laughs> at nine p.m. and twelve midnight to okay. see Michael Wheels Parisi at five twenty-one West Street. 
You can put all that in your could go on the... Yeah, we'll put reservations. But that whole message... That whole message could go... Michael Wheels and Maurice. I'm turning off his mic at this point. (laughs) No, no, I've had it. All right, listen. But he's right. You could put Uh, that whole message on You could put that whole message. If you want to get into the next (laughs) generation... Imagine if you're in a business meeting (laughs) and somebody beeps you and you got to get up from the meeting and make a phone call to find out the message. Yeah, you want to stop for Michael's Wheels and Maurice? Then you got to find... I take an hour for lunch. Then you got to find a pen and a piece of paper to write down all of these messages and it just doesn't work that way this way you got it stored right in your beeper listen it's the same size as a regular beeper except it has a display where you can read the messages well you could call in and it'll it'll like leave you a message like right okay please like first 500 all right i'm turning off your mic the first 500 people who call the first 500 people who call get a free 30-day trial offer on tni's offer call 1-800-365-BEEP 1-800-365-BEEP this is free for a month 30 days, 1-800-365-BEEP right now. Pasquale and Wong, Friday night. Robin, set this up. What? Were you going to do this in the news about Jane? No. Jane Wheedland? I didn't know anything about this until you told me. Uh, I thought you were going right. to in the news. <laughs> Jane Wheedland. Of the Go-Go. Of the Go-Go's. Is, like, loves animals so much, like she does disruptive things. Well, you know, she's a member of PETA. Really PETA. like these Carlton's. You know, they don't make you choke. Hey, you better quiet your father down. He doesn't understand. Dad, what, what are you doing? What did I tell you? <laughs> hey, what's the use in talking? <laughs> you know, you go up and back every day with these people. Yeah, and they don't understand show business. You know? I like your father. But sometimes you got to get him in line. My father's great. If you can't get your father in line, you know, he works for you. you got to get him in line. No, no, I work for him. Do you boss your father no. around? You ever yell at your father? You have to Believe yell at I work for him. If I didn't, I wouldn't have a dime. Really? Like that. I'd spend it all. You, you would. And tell them what I'd spend it on. Sweat clothes. So Jane really... A shirt? Thirty dollars. I cut the neck and the in. sleeves off. Like... Oi. Oi. Who's that big dude with Oi. you? My bodyguard. Oh, man. Yeah, go sit over there, bodyguard. What's the matter with you? Yeah, sit down, Janie. Mm-hmm. Jane, let me look at you. Mm. Come over here so I can look. Come over here. She is so I cute. I want me to do this. You're taking off, wait, she's taking off her clothes. Her voice is so grating. It just makes the Come acids here. in Whoa. your belly bubble. You taking off your pants? Nah. Oh, come on. All right, just start boring a new one. Can I make out with you? Later, after the show. Thanks. Really very pleasant. <laughs> She's cute. A hard block. Do you know Dice? <laughs> Do you know Dice Clay? Hi there. Do you know me? No. I this is her. Dice. I'm breaking. She breaks. <laughs> Do you like Dice? I mean, I don't know you personally. Oh, no, I know, I know. Do you, you know, like Dice? Do you live alone? Or you have a problem with him? I don't, I'm not familiar. How can she have a problem with me? She's sitting wearing a bra. Oh. <laughs> How can she have a problem with me? Are those breast implants? No. No, no. They're cute. Thank they you. are. They are cute. They're, they're happy bosoms. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. This is Glad I wore my baggies. Who is that guy? Dan Matthews from Peter. He took his clothes off yesterday. Oh, oh he took his clothes off, too. Yeah. You guys How are come naughty? he didn't come here with no top? Let me explain what Jane did. Oh, Johnny. He's going to strip later. Do you mind taking your pants off? So we can see your weenie? <laughs> hey, it's a political statement. You, Come on. You, you Wait, I saw uh, each animals, man. I would take my pants off and get them to stop. It's in the chicken, man, man. <laughs> it's in the chicken. <laughs> yeah. Let me understand something, Jane. Jane of the Go-Go's. Well, you guys broke up again, right? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I know. You tell me. Yeah, it's tell a day-to-day Dice. Day thing. Tell yeah. Dice what you did yesterday. Yeah. Tell everyone. And tell Robin. We snuck into Oscar de Laurentiis' grand opening of his new fur... Salon. No, his, his line of furs. Uh huh. And then yeah. when the show started, we threw our clothes up and then we jumped up on stage with a banner that said we'd rather go naked than wear fur. But you weren't naked. Well, we had like you know see-through little things on. You had brown panties. No, it was like a little you know ladies' nylons. It was like a little thing made out of that. Could you oh. see your breasts through it? Yes. So you wouldn't. Well, what and about you could the see panty part? The Do panty what? part. Could you see your private parts through I tr- it? I trim my bush. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I you don't like that? a bush that will make a tree up that jealous, eh? Nah. Why are you talking about the president at a time like this? <laughs> hey, you, thank right you, Robin. <laughs> what do you, uh, you know, I've got to be careful Never here. trim it. Never body trim it. So t- are you married? Yeah. I'm no. married last I don't mean what I said. Mm, too bad. Now they don't want to talk to you. Oh, yeah, I'll be pleased to see you now. Guys, what do you think of this whole animal rights thing? Seriously, what do you think? I mean, it, you into the whole animal thing, the non-fair. Do you eat animals? Thing? Do you eat animals? I mean, like, um, like I'll go into a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I'll have like um I think Dice eats yeah. giraffe. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I think, think he's eating in I'll eat a little <laughs> like the <laughs> deal over there. Yeah. No, what do you eat? Seriously. Well, uh, you know, I'm I'm not you, really into did you ever see Would the you buy a fur film? would you buy a fur for Trini? <laughs> does fur, does Trini have any fur? Yeah, she does. She does. You bought them for her. Yeah. You have well, What am I going to do? The thing's dead already. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's going to hang in a store? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, though. Know, I mean, I won't go out and, and, and kill like uh See, I won't let my wife you know, wear like a bear and make her like a bear coat, you know? I won't let my what wife. What if he's already, what if, I, I mean, a bear gets old and he dies too, you hear? I understand. He gets sick, you know. If you find him dead, it's okay. He is gets that a right? stroke, uh, you cut off the hair. So you're, you saying, you're saying that Trini only wears coats from dead animals? Roadkill. Roadkill. She got roadkill coat. Because, Jane, you know, I, I can dig where you're coming from and everything, but it's like... Save the whales. Because, like, I won't let my wife wear her fur coat. Save the I whales. Mean, she had hey. one. She had one, and I was against it because I said, how's it going to look politically? That if I'm walking around with you with a fur coat and they start spray painting you red. <laughs> That'd be and funny. stuff. I mean, I'm going to feel like a real... <laughs> you like comedy? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to be at Pasquale and Wong's this Friday night. Hey. Two shows. I'm going home today. Where are you going, L.A.? But you came here specifically mm. for the Oscar de la Renta okay. opening, huh? Yes. Where do you live in L.A.? Um, well, kind of outside L.A., in the suburbs. Well, where? I'm not going to tell no, you. No, the city, not the, uh, you know, the address. The city? A girl. Mm. It's a famous town. <laughs> She's got a lot of money. She's in the Go-Go's. She made tons of dough. And she wrote a lot of those songs, right? Yeah. And you're the one who broke up the Go-Go's because you thought uh, Belinda was a big pain in the I did not. I quit, and then they broke up. I couldn't help it. And what are you doing now? Taking my clothes off a lot. <laughs> Coming. <laughs> they make a Belinda Carlisle joke in the uh, Madonna movie know, too. Sorry. What do they say? They're all jealous of her. Oh, no, you one like Madonna. Of the, yeah, I love her. One of the uh, backup singers is singing. Uh, yeah. Ooh, baby, you know what? Would whatever. And woman. another one is beating on her back, so she has that quiver. Oh. <laughs> Belinda has in her voice. Uh, yeah. But that girl, at least one of them worked for Belinda, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Jane thinks like you know Jane was writing all this stuff, and she said, hey, "I'm going to go solo." And dump these broads. Well, she had a hit. You did have a hit. Yeah. Tell Dice your hit. Rush Hour. Ever hear Rush Hour? Yeah. Well, that's the trains. Rush Hour. <laughs> no, I'm saying you ever hear it. Rush Hour. Yeah. Well, you know, when you get on the trains in the morning. Sing a little Rush, Rush Hour. Go ahead. No. Jane, go ahead. No, you, Come on, do it. No, you sing it. You're better than I am. No. I can sing it. Come on. No. Sing, it. No. No. sing a little. No. Well, you, uh, you know, you'll take your clothes off. You but don't you shove cash right. down a panties. That's right. I don't sing for free. Well, how much do you want for a little Rush Hour? Sing off, I'll strip. I'll take off all my clothes. Okay, here you come. Come on, Robin, he's going to do it. I would love to get oh, naked with you. Eat. Look at you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking ready to eat you up. I you swear to God. Oh, uh, not lately, no. Well, why not? What are you, what are you, I got are you thinking so perfect? No, I know. No, <laughs> you're pretty good. You, I mean, you, 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 you look nice. Thank you. Well, that's how I make millions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to sing a note, baby. Not that I can't. <laughs> but uh, you... I saw a as a tap dancer. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Did you really? A oh, tap, imagine. ballet. Re I Jane, never saw that. Politically, now, yeah. Jane, yes. aren't you mad at Dice of some way, or are you into Dice? I mean, you must hey, not... He's a... into my... Well, come no, on, look you know what I've heard? <laughs> weren't you I running around defacing those posters? Him. Weren't you defacing <laughs> Dice from posters? <laughs> no, no, I have better What have you heard? Do. Wonderful things, right? No, I, I mean, you get a lot of publicity. Neg yeah. Mostly negative. I, I like them. He's funny. I'm not saying anything for or against what he does, because I haven't heard it. I heard like 10 seconds of a record, and I can't, it was something about... What did you think that. when uh, Sinead O'Connor said bad things about Dice? <laughs> what did you, you think about that bald moron, Sinead O'Connor, when she said those things about Dice? <laughs> I wasn't really... You know, she was there tonight. Oh, uh, I told you that joke. I yeah, you did that already. You know, she combed her head and pulled up her pants. Right. <laughs> See, she's uh, laughing. She right, didn't have a exactly. problem with Dice. <laughs> Sinead, her, she's not bad looking. You know, put a wig on her head, she'll look like a real chick. Hey, Robin, that guy from the Fur Association is on the line. He wants to yell at them. Oh, good. Let's talk to him. Right, right, here. Watch this. This is always good. Is Yellow. this Oscar De La Renta? Is there? Is this Oscar De La Renta? You're on the air. Yeah, hi, Howard. Is this Oscar? Uh, no. Steve Ooh. Cowett from uh, the Greater Fur New York Association. And ah. uh, would like to speak to Jane Wheedland about what it's like to break the law constantly. What is she doing exactly? Well, she uh, snuck in using a legal press... Uh, press badges and uh, went into a private show and uh, decided to make a fool out of herself, her and Dan Matthews. Yes, so? Well, you don't like chicks? You don't like seeing a naked chick? <laughs> well, I like seeing a naked chick, but uh, so what, what are we personally, take? personally, I think with her body, she'd look much better with fur on. 
No, uh, come on. Come on, man. You got a great body. Hey, come on. Don't lie about that. Well, come hey, on. you're being a bit of a crybaby. You have one right, in the right. sink. have it. Come on. Well, Yell at him. Well, I'd like to ask Jay and, uh, uh, first of Howard and, uh, and the Dice Man. I know both you guys wear leather. So yes. what's the difference between wearing feather, uh, wearing leather and wearing fur? And wearing feather. They actually have a thousand two hundred leathers. <laughs> And he goes out, but he makes sure they're from dead animals. But it's not like well, I go to the cow mother. and say, look, the, the Jane, what is you always on the mud in your What? Ass. Hey, Jane, you always clam up during these things. I do? Yeah. I mean, Jane, I have it. You're against wearing, like, leather and stuff? No, Jane is, guys. Jane is definitely. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> against it. Jane's against eating meat, and Jane's against wearing leather, and Jane's, Jane's against eating chicken. Well, what, do you, what do you have against wearing leather? So what? I just don't want to wear dead cows. I think it's gross. Well, what would you want to wear? Like, uh... She wants to wear plastic fish? that pollutes the atmosphere. Oh, Mr. What? Environmentalist here. Well, tell me about it, Jane. Thank you, Mr. Earth Day. Jane, let me ask you something. What about when Peter killed all those animals at his sanctuary? I don't know what you're talking you about. You know exactly what I'm talking Save about. Save the seal, baby. Please, Save fill the us seal. in. Jane, you know all about how Peter killed the divided to kill animals that they couldn't fit into their sanctuary in Maryland? Do you have a day job? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you do to Look at what fun? he's tracking down. Oh, man. What does this guy do? Hey, the guy's in the fur association. He's got to defend fur. Oh, so he wants to sell fur. He's I'm getting so upset. Fun. The industry is getting hurt. Can, can you give me, like, a discount? Definitely, guys. Like... Jane, Jane, don't put your jacket floor, on. I'm glad to. Yeah, just hang it up. Oh, good. Jeez. Because we're a responsible industry that really cares. All right, all right. What? what do you yeah, care but about? You killed, like, old fur, right? You don't well, take, like, a brand new, uh, I want to ask Peter and Jane Rabbit Peter, and, and, what you'd you know, like to do about putting a whole bunch of people out of business. I no, just no, 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 care. no, 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 I have the utmost faith that you have other talents besides making coats out of skin. Jane, Jane, what would I do for a living, We'll Jane? start wearing human skins, okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, Jane, what's he supposed plastic? to do for a living? Can he tour with you? Or, uh, you want to wear plastic yeah, and you want to wear synthetic, yeah. right, Jane? I just think there's other alternatives. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, what a great debate, though. All right. You know? Hey, Jane, can we make out during the commercials? Yeah, yeah. All right. Who are you married to again? Some rich guy? Uh, his name's Jed. He's not rich, no. I'm yeah. the rich one in the family. She's got tons of... Are you, are you a millionaire? Uh, oh, give it to me, Jed. I, I don't, I don't know. How do, you, it. how do you qualify that? I mean, you have over a million dollars? Cash? Yeah, in cash. No. Jed. Do you have a million dollars worth of assets? Yeah. Wow. No, more. More. Oh, more than oh, a million. My go, 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 go. That's a girl. And she's good looking, too. Is your husband real good looking? Yeah. Oh. Well, Better than me? Jed. Where's Jed from? Different. Different. He's from Scotland. Mm. Boy, I'd love to have a oh, woman. Oh, with an accent and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Robin, you love that. All right, let me take a break. Dice is here. Dice Rules opens in theaters this Friday. The soundtrack's available. Jane is here. You want to finish the news with us, Jane? Sure. What's the news? Oh, Robin has the news. I don't know what it is. I thought we, I thought we covered the news. <laughs> but we got a couple more stories. Oh, what is it? What's, what's the big story? We already did the big one. You're still talking about the uh, cuticles. The cuticles. You ever cheat on your husband? No. Not yet. Liar. Not yet. He's only been married four years. Come over here. Just come over here for a second. <laughs> come over here. All right. Come over here and sit on my lap. Yeah. No, wait for the commercial. Come on. What's, what are you so tight no, about? Come on. Go over there. Come over. No, don't make a favor. What are you tight right. about? Come to me. No, you come over here. No, I can't come to you. No. I'm not the submissive type. Playing games here or what? Yeah. Ty, is she playing games or what? Give a little smack on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these words. Lend an ear to a mother. All right, what is this? this is Good. I want to talk. This is what I've been waiting to talk to Dice about the whole time. Look, look, Dice. I'm going to tell you something. That cigarette smoking. I'm worried about your health, quite frankly. I know it's a macho thing with you and, and all that, and you think it's the greatest. But you know you want to quit inside, and one day you will want to quit. And I know you will. If we smoke Carlton now, because Carlton has only a. Uh, <laughs> One milligram of tar. Yeah, but you so smoke you 900 smoke, of them. <laughs> smoke Carlton. You have about nine mil 900 milligrams of tar a day. Not with Carlton. What, are you trying to get free cigarettes? Well, maybe a commercial for like a million bucks. <laughs> you realize Dyson made about $27 million last year? Is that amazing? And I don't that's think. And that's, that's being a comic. It's hmm. very hard to do. Howie, that's what you had to do. Was a little more? But be a comic? Yeah, I think it was twenty seven five. Jane just got wet. Yeah, but that was, I, I nearly did a hundred shows. She has 20, oh. yeah, he had to work a hundred nights to get that 27 million. It's not like he got that one night. Jeez. Right, Robin? Now we gotta right. go do it again. You hear me? I hear you. Physician Smoke Stopping Group, why doesn't Dice quit smoking? 
guys, I spoke to these because guys. Because I'm smoking Colton. I spoke to the doctors over there. These are Why medical doctors. Why don't we doctors. have the doctors in? We'll tie dice in a chair. Yeah. Well, what's a doctor supposed to say? An MD. No, no. He teaches you how to quit smoking. Let me tell you something. It really works. 85% success rate. Fred, aren't you worried about your son? What? Don't you smoke too, though? No, I don't smoke. Oh. Are you but worried? you're not worried. Do you try to get him to quit, or, or at this point you can't talk to him anymore because he's a big star? Yes, we do. No, you, we can talk to him. And what happens? And he listens. And he That's why I'm smoking Colton. When, when did you realize Dice was smoking? What age did you see that? When he was about four. No, oh, come on, really. How old was Dice? 21. 21. Really? 21? Really? Yeah. You waited all that time? In fact, mm -hmm. he couldn't stand the smoke up until then. He couldn't stand smoke. Couldn't stand it. Why did he start, do you think? You want to look uh, more happening? No. I, I'm asking you your start? father. Why did you start? Well, how was he? He wasn't in the, the bathroom with me lighting up. You started because you thought it looked cool. That's why every kid starts. You want to be a tough guy. You you wanna, wanna, I'm not saying it's a good habit. Right, but why? You wouldn't do it out of smoke. You have a child now, smoke guys. Smoke, Carlton. Guys, you smoke well, the with your kids. smoke. <laughs> <laughs> do you smoke around the kid? Mm hmm. Oh. You know, he used to smoke Michael Landon. He used to smoke cigarettes with his pancreas. <laughs> and now look at him. I swear, he used to stick him right in there. That's true. It's true. Fred, you have no influence in this area? There's nothing. As long as you've got good bowel movement, that's all that matters in this world. You get upset when I talk to your father about this, don't you? No. Come here, I'm going to smack you on your... No, you're not. I was going to say... I was talking to Jane. Right? I'm talking to Jane. <laughs> Dice always said, no, you're not. <laughs> I don't want to smack you on the ass. I'm here with Ronnie. You wouldn't let that happen. <laughs> Downtown Ronnie? I'm here. Fred, <laughs> you can't get him to quit? Yeah. I hear you. Would you, ha would you... Don't try to get him to quit. Can I say something to you, though? As a parent, I think... You've got to do the commercial. I though. think you should be responsible. All right, tell us about this big thing. What is it that... Hey, let me talk to your father. What is father. it, Why, why is he uptight when I... He stops I think me. that he doesn't right, like sir. anybody to tell him. I guess he hears all the time he should stop smoking. Yeah. No, I want to talk to your father for a second. Can you mellow out? Yeah, I got a grandmother, 120 years old. She's smoking. You, you don't years. feel don't, you don't. You should quit. You don't feel responsible in any way that you should say it to him. Not at all. No. Really? Well, I wish you were my father. <laughs> Your well, father you wouldn't smoke. let you smoke. That's why I don't smoke. My parents <laughs> won't let me. I want to smoke. Do? What? What's your vice? My vice? Oh dear. He likes don't to be say. Uh, That's right. Come over here. Let me just let, let me do some Come stuff here. Tell me a favor. Let me do some stuff to you, Jane. What yeah, do you care? Your husband's not going to hear this. She's a hot little number for a kid her age. How old are you, Jane? Thirty-two. Jesus. You're <laughs> me off. You're thirty-two. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll do that. Please. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, thirty-three next week. Ah, she looked... You really look a lot younger. How old does she look? Thank you. I'd say about twenty-six. I'd say twenty-three. No, she don't look twenty-three. Jane, take off your bra. <laughs> take off your bra. No. Come on. Get uh, for those animals. Just for a day. <laughs> All right, anyway, for a goof, take off your bra so Fred can see. I bet you if you guys weren't here, you would. do it, Robin will do it. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Robin will do it. you this room, man. You look 23. She's unbelievable. You look like Robin. a much used 23, but 23. <laughs> oh, oh, man. What's wrong with you? She's been around yeah, the block. very cruel today. He's just such a gentleman. Before you were married, did so you throw cute. it around a lot? Oh, yeah. Oof. She had a lot of <laughs> In yeah. case you missed it. <laughs> yeah, guys. Oh. Did you have a lot of before you got married? Yeah, yeah. You really did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of sex. Like, like anybody one famous? night stand type of stuff? Uh, no, usually like two or three nights. Yeah. Anybody famous? Oh, yeah. Like who? I don't want to tell. Oh. No, see, you know, now I, I respect that. Out how it, when I last, well, last time I was on the radio in L.A., I took over a show for the evening, and I was a mm -hmm. DJ, and I played a whole set of people I had slept with. Really? Oh, yeah. man. I'm sure they yeah. were so pleased. Don't tell me who they were, but what was the set? <laughs> please, tell me. Oh, come on, Jane. Don't clam up on me. Give me a oh, please. Come on, just this come one. On, thing. Why would you do that? Why would you tell? Come on, I love animals, too. Why would you bang and tell? No, nice. no, I didn't. Because if it's just, you know, a band and... You who was it? Say just tell me one group. Tell us the band. Actually, I said they were gentlemen friends. What group? All right, what are some of your gentlemen friends? Don't say No. So, this doesn't mean you had They were friends. Come on, just tell me two. No. Oh, come on, don't make me beg here. I'll come over there. Just tell us the just, band. No, it's too much like showing off. Just one. Just tell me one. Showing off like she's the only chick that could do it. Right. Stephen Stills? They all know how to show <laughs> it off. David Crosby. Was it? No. Hard to get that out of us. <laughs> Gary Lewis? Gary Lewis and the Playboys? Oh, no. Come on, I'm not that old. Jose Feliciano? <laughs> <laughs> Emino? Richie Haven? 
Julio Iglesias. Julio Iglesias? <laughs> Who did you have? Julio, Julio. Who did you have? No, Name one, just one. No, oh. Howard, Jesus. This Tom Jones. Life already. Was it Tom Jones? <laughs> John no. Travolta? No. No. Tony Orlando? Stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, who is that? Oh, from Guns N' Roses. All right. Yeah. Uh, Let me just tell you about it. She made like she didn't know. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Physician Smoke Stopping Group. Uh, this is a medical way. approach. This is medical doctors, Robin, teaching you how to quit smoking, getting you to stop smoking, and they have an 85% success rate first time around. Why don't you try it, for God's sake? Nice just doesn't <laughs> want to admit he would like not to be addicted. Because he thinks his whole personality is that cigarette, and it's not. You're funny without the cigarette. Put out the cigarette. I don't feel like it. Go ahead. Make me. Put it out now. Hey. Yeah. How come? Uh Oh. It's Colton. How come if Dice is a character, Andrew smokes all the time? Yeah, explain that. (laughs) Dice is no character. I told you you're not a character. Well, Well, you know, people, they break my chops, you know. (laughs) Who's Dice? Who's Let me tell you what happened with Dice. Who's in between? Yeah, right. Let me tell you something about that. I'm over there. They get together and they curse. Let me tell you something about Dice. (laughs) I have talked to this guy extensively on the yeah. phone, several hours well, at a time. Well, we're personal friends. Right. Several hours at a the time. People, but he doesn't break character, so how could it no be a character? Guy, huh? So when he was going on all these talks, he saying he's a character. What, do I curse on the phone? Well, no. we don't curse on the radio. We, we don't that's curse. what makes the character. You know who's a fake is the hot tub. <laughs> hot tub's a fake. Yeah. yeah. Where is he? Is he done? Oh. Is he being baby? Handsome. Pinching a loaf? Oh, oh, no. Physician smoke stopping group. A oh, medical no. approach to oh, quitting no. smoking. <laughs> Locations in New York, New Jersey, if you are trying to quit smoking, what unlike do? Dice. What did they do? When Dice is laying there in the cancer ward with the tubes up his nose, he'll go, You'll oh, be alive. Hey, you oh. better. Oh, give me a cigarette. No, you'll be, you'll be, uh, give me that number for position. You know what he'll be doing? He'll be putting his little finger over that hole so he can still get the cigarette. Over the pipe. He'll be talking with that, 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 uh, with a cancer kazoo. Yeah. He'll be like, hello, this is Dice. How are you? Another bit I did. Why did you do that? Wait a second, I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. My grandmother lived to 150. She smoked every day. You'll see. Well, women do live forever. You know that. Shane, did you like when I did that? Yeah. Do you realize how talented I am? Come over here. Come on over. Come on. What's your big problem? Let me kiss your stomach. Come on over and let me kiss your stomach.